What is a parasite? A parasite is something which lives off the host body. A host body is any living thing. Depending on what the parasite requires or how the parasite lives in your body dictates what it is doing to you. For example, malaria is a parasite which can be transmitted by mosquitoes. When it is transmitted to humans, it can spread throughout the body quite quickly, making this its home. It doesn't just target a specific place to live, like your brain or kidneys. The bacteria from the malaria parasite resides all over your body after initial invasion. As this bacteria spreads all over your body quite quickly, it attacks all cells too. This will drop the energy fields all over your body by targeting all cells, organs, and critical bodily systems you have. Another example of a parasite would be spider mites. Spider mites live off another form of host body, such as a flower. A spider mite can latch on to a house plant, flower, maybe a tree, and if they are left unchecked, they can grow to numbers in the hundreds of thousands in a very short time, like a month or two. After they reach numbers like this, they basically overwhelm the plant by feeding off all the valuable nutrition destined for the health of the plant. This weakens the plant and eventually kills it. Notice the heavy spider webs. Parasites also exist in animals and your pets too. Symptoms of parasites. Tapeworm symptoms. It really depends what type of parasite you have. Does it invade the whole body like the malaria parasite, or does it prefer the climate of a specific region like hookworms do, such as the colon? The symptoms you have can be dictated by the associated or type of parasite infection infestation you have. Any parasite can give some or all of the following symptoms. Bloating, fever, lack of energy, discomfort in the bowels, diarrhea, your stool is not well formed blood in your stool. You have a lot of gas. Your stool floats instead of sinks. Fever, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, trouble sleeping and bruxism, grinding your teeth, blotchy skin, light and dark patches, white scaly fungal patches on your skin, stomach, hands and feet that are always itchy. Smelly feet, cracked and skin build up here. Anxiety and or feelings of depression, snappy moods. You bruise easily and don't heal as quick. You are not satisfied after a meal, you want to eat more. You really crave sugar, you just have to have it. Parasites indiscreetly help you push the trigger for more sugar. Loss of appetite. Your body shuts down as it can't handle any more food which feeds parasites. Toxemia of your body. Over time, the residues like ammonia, which parasites secrete into your body, builds up. Brain fog, aching at the muscle and joint level. Various associated diseases due to poor nutritional uptake. Athlete's foot, uncomfortable and unwanted vaginal discharge cracked and dried feet, warts, jaw itch. Fungal patches on your nails. Lower immune system functions. Dysfunction of the ductless glandular system in the human body which can lead to disruption of hormone levels. Stressing of the nervous system due to toxic substances introduced to this and other critical systems of your body. Parasites in your stool. Sometimes you can actually see them squirming around. How do you get parasites? Round worms in humans. Humans get parasites via some type of internal access. Bug bites are one way parasites are transmitted. The bug which bites you already has the bacteria in it which will infect you. Another way is through the transmission of parasitic larvae or eggs to you through your ingestion system. 
parasite larvae or eggs get into you from your hands when you put them into your mouth or eyes through saliva exchange with your pet as deposits on the food you eat again in the form of larvae or eggs. Parasites are natural on the earth and have always existed in humans, pets and in the environment. But they have been kept in check for a long time in regards to how they could affect your health negatively. If we modify our diet quite radically with junk or rich foods, we can and do basically destroy the beneficial bacteria, good flora, that also lives in our body. This good flora helps keep bad bacteria in check. As there is nothing to combat the parasites or bad bacteria anymore, it thrives. Long-term health risks from parasites, parasitic infections, and our stomach worm. When you have a parasite problem, there are a few problems associated with this. Parasites steal proper nutrition from your body. They get first helpings and leave you with the leftovers. Your body is an amazing machine and it takes time for the health effects of malnourishment to show up. Your age and what type of parasite you have are two factors which could dictate how slight or more severe malnourishment or parasitic stealing of your nourishing cellular food affects your body. Also, if a parasitic infestation like worms is present in your body, over time the residues will give your body a chemical toxemia problems as one of the chemicals associated with the oily, slimy discharge from the parasite is ammonia. So with a parasite problem that is left unchecked, this can add a toxic chemical compound to your body. That can't be good. The above mentioned points might indicate that your body could be weaker if it had a parasite problem. Therefore, parasites might lead to a rise in disease problems in humans. Thanks, Dave Scrivens, 